Well, hello, welcome back to the channel. It's Salisa coming to you from Beautifully Me and You, de Bellamente y tú y yo. And today, you guys, we're gonna use a little bit of Etsy pay as well as some of my nursing pay in order to do a budget and cash stuff for the month of February. And yeah, we're gonna be working directly off the monthly budget in order to see where everything goes. I also have an announcement of a new product that'll be in my Etsy shop and I thought I'd share it with you guys here first. So we're gonna be doing some cash stuffing of savings challenges, sinking funds, um, cash envelopes, and also paying some bills. And if that sounds like something that interests you, then let's get right into the video. To get started, we're going to be using the Easy Cash Budget Weekly Planner 2nd Edition. This planner is a planner that I created. I've created several planners. I'll put a playlist up here of all the planners I've created. You can flip through to see which one works best for you. This planner, however, does have savings challenges as well as calendar spreads, and it has um, enough budgeting sheets for weekly budgeters, which means five sheets per month, okay? As well as a monthly budget planner. If you're interested in this planner, it's linked down below in the Amazon storefront. And if you're interested in digitally downloading the planner, then you would head over to my Etsy store and you'll see the planner that's a digital download with the polka dot background. That's this one, okay? It should have this cover on the actual listing. All right, so that's it for that. If you're interested in any other planners, they're very affordable, most under $20, some under 10, then go ahead and click the link up here, like I said, and look at all the different planners that I've created and see if there's one that works better for you, okay? All right, as far as getting started today, we're gonna flip right over to the month of February's monthly budget, and then we're gonna talk about some things that we need to do. Before we do though, let me first talk to you guys about the little magnets that I'm gonna be loading in my Etsy store. So for today's video, I am going to put a secret hashtag somewhere within the video, and that's going to be the entry into the giveaway of what I have to give away for today, which is going to be the magnetic bookmarks, okay? These are all the ones that I'm going to be doing the giveaway for. I did create a little backing card. Let me show you what that looks like, like this. And it has my QR code for Etsy and YouTube and my email listed directly on here. Um, as far as the magnets, I first created them and made them a little bit too big. And so these bigger ones, I'm going to be giving those away. I don't, I didn't want to make them this big. I wanted them to be the size that I have in my planner. So there's only a few that I made the wrong size. And so I'm going to show you those. And then I'll show you the ones that we have for sale. So this is the first one that I'm going to be doing a giveaway for. And it will be a pig, a cookie. Maybe I'll have you guys hashtag a word, the word of what it is. Let's do that. Okay, instead of doing a random hashtag, let's put hashtag pig if you're interested in winning this one. Hashtag cookie. Hashtag coins with the S. I'll make sure to put them on the screen. Hashtag donut. Hashtag yes. Or yes, you can. Hashtag yes. And hashtag panda. Okay, so panda, yes, donut, coins, cookie, and pig. You can put all the hashtags or just the one of the one you would like to win down in the um, comment section of this video and I'll pick the winners next video, okay? You'll need to come back to watch the next video to see if you won because, you know, basically, I'm not gonna be notifying anyone. You'll have to reach out to me over on Instagram or via email if you do win, okay? Now these were all just a little bit too large and that's the reason why I'm giving those away. Let's go through the styles that I did create that will be stocked in the Etsy store. I have 16 different styles of magnets that I'm gonna be offering, but before we get to those, let me show you the ones that I didn't quite make a lot of. I only made one of each because I wasn't sure if they would be popular. They will be listed, so if you want to order those, you can, but I didn't make a bulk amount of them. The first one is, and it will be smaller than this. This is one of the large ones. The first one is a composition book and it says, let's budget 2024. Super cute. And that will be a little bit smaller if I offer it um, over on Etsy. The next one is never stop growing. It's for the people who love purple. It looks like this. And these are like really sturdy magnets, so it'll work. The next one is a hydrangea. And for anyone who likes flowers, this is what this one looks like. Let me see it in the book. In the planner, it looks like this. So it's about that size, okay? And that's a hydrangea. So that one will be available as well, but I'm not making bulks of these because I didn't know if anyone would like that. And lastly, I have a piece of cheesecake, so cute but I didn't make a whole bunch of these either. 
So these four will be listed and I'll just make them to order if you do order these. Um, so this one will be titled Cheesecake Hydrangea. We'll call this one Never Stop. And then this one will be um, Composition Book. Okay, so those will be available. And with those four, there's actually a total of 20 different styles. So let me show you the ones that I did make some in bulk. Um, I have avocado, a bumblebee, the boba, a cat. Janae said, you should have made that one for Valentine's Day. Girl's too late. Okay, a cat. <laughs> The coffee, the coin purse, and see the difference in size between this one and where's that other coin purse? Here. Yeah, this is the size I'm gonna sell. So coin purse, a cookie. I put these in alphabetical order. A dog. This one's for my sister's dog. Well, my mom's dog looks like this. So cute. She has a Bichon. Um, a donut. This one's a monkey with boba. This is for my best friend. I picked this one for her, but um, yeah, I decided to go ahead and make a lot of them and sell them. So this is a monkey. Panda, smaller panda, not that big one. A penguin. The pig. This one's self-love. It's a notebook and it says self-love and I like it. But it is for, you know, not as cutesy, but it's very nice. The sun. And then the smaller, yes, you can. So those 16 styles will be stocked in Etsy ready to ship. I've already made um, quite a few of each one of these styles. So if this is something that you want, get it before it sells out. Um, because I sat yesterday making about 200 magnets, okay? So that once they're gone, they're gonna be gone. And as far as these, I'll be making them to order for a while, which are these four, the Hydrangea, the Budget Book, Never Stop Growing, and the Cheesecake. If someone orders one of these, I will make them to order, um, but I did not make a bulk of these, so, you know, there's that. Anyway, that's it as far as the magnets. The magnetic bookmarks you ought to be able to find over in my Etsy storefront. There'll be a listing, um, and you would just click the link down below and head over there. They're pretty affordable, so yeah. Get yourself one if you think you need it. All right, let's move on back over to the budget. And my budget being the month of February. All right, what we're gonna do is first work on creating a budget for um, a little bit of Etsy, no, a little bit of nursing income and Etsy income. So I only worked one day this past um, pay period. So for nursing income, I had $300 that I'm gonna be budgeting with. The majority of my days are gonna be towards the end of this month, so there's that. And then for Etsy, I also had income there. And for Etsy, we're gonna say 700. So that's a total of $1,000 that we will be budgeting with today. I do need to do some bills. Um, I'm gonna pay my Georgia Power, Stream, and my water bill. So let me list those out. My water bill ended up being 120. So those three I am gonna pay. Let me get Mr. Calculator and we'll add that up. Okay, so that's $380. I feel like this is shaking. Hold on, let me move the tripod back a little bit. All right, so that's $380. So when we take 1,000 minus 380, we have $620 left to budget with. Um, now, my YouTube pay ought to be coming really shortly, so I'm gonna be doing mainly sinking funds out of my YouTube pay, but let's just go ahead and work out and see what we can do today. I do wanna do a little bit of a lot, per usual, with a little bit, okay. <laughs> All right, $620. Let me take a look at my cash envelopes. I don't think I have anything left, you guys. I've been, let me tell you, the ones and fives challenge will take you out the game because I left a five in weekend fun because I was like, if I take every one and five out of these things, I'm not gonna have no money in none of these. I still got no nail money. I need to get that done. But yeah, I knew weekend fun was the only thing that had something and I had a five and a 10. I had $15 in there. Okay, so let's go ahead and start talking about what we need to do. Stunkin. We'll put 20 groceries. 
I'll put a hundred dining out. And I'm literally just thinking of what I need for the week. I don't have any rhyme or reason. I'm looking back on the monthly budget to see kind of what it was that I had planned, but I'm just looking to see what I think I need. 50 for dining out, gas, we're gonna put 25. Um, for myself, I'm gonna put 20. Nails doesn't need anything and weekend fun, since it has 15, let's put 35. That'll make it a cool 50. All right, so let's see what that totals up to. 20, 100, 50, 25, 20, and 35. So that'll be $250. Okay, that's doable. Minus 620. So we have $370 left. I do wanna do giving and I'll put $70 in there. Okay, so we're down, uh-oh, 370 minus 70 is 300, ain't it? Okay, yeah, okay, even she could do that kind of math. All right, let's see what we have to do. I'm gonna put some in the college binder. And let's put, oh, how much, wait, what do I have left to do? Let's say 150, but if it's, if it's not an envelope that's exactly 150 in there, then I'll put the extra towards savings challenges, okay? So that leaves us with 150 left. Out of that, what am I going to do? What is she gonna do? All right, let's put, let's put the rest towards savings challenges. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Let's do HOA and glasses. And we'll put 30 into each of those. And that'll be 60, so we'll put 90. Into savings challenges. Okay, so I think that ought to add up. So this is uh, 130. And we take 370 minus 130. That's $240 left. And yep, that's 240, so that's zero. Nothing's going in there, but we will hit it before the end of the month. All right, so let's go ahead and make sure everything works out. There's 1,000 here. Bills, 380. Cash envelopes, 250. Uh, sinking funds, 130. Savings challenges, 240. And that should all equal out. Let's see, 1,000 minus 380 minus 250 minus 130 minus 240. What? Oh, wait, 1,000. <laughs> Minus 380, 250, 130, 240. Okay, that's good. So that's a zero base budget right there. Let's go ahead and break down what we need. If you've never been here before, I'll leave the bills money in the bank to pay those bills out of this money, okay? The rest of this, I'm gonna actually be pulling out. So let me just copy over these numbers so we can get a denomination going and we'll know exactly what we need. All right, I think I have it all worked out. So this should equal $620 because that's the amount minus the bill money that we're leaving in the bank. So this is two 100s for $200. Two, three, did I do three fifties? What was I thinking? Oh, well, three fifties for 150. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. 20s for 220. Three for 30. Two, three, four for 20. All right, let's add that up and make sure that works out. 
200, 150, 220, 30, and 20. 620! Hey! Your girl pulled that off though. She did it. Um, okay, so what I need to do now is fill out a teller slip. These little teller slips are available in my Etsy storefront. I also have some that are matching this book that I have, which is the polka dot ones, if you want a more simplistic design. And then I also have some IOU post-its, which look like this. There's a pack of 50 for either one of the, any of these that you get. As you can see, I've already been using these, but there's a pack of 50 for sale in my, in my Etsy storefront. It's linked down below. However, someone did ask if I can make this IOU a laminated um, card. And so I did create that. Let me know if you'd like to see the teller slips in that fashion as well. Um, they will be being listed in my Etsy storefront and I created, they look like this. They're pretty much like rounded corners, blank on the back. And I don't know, I feel like I like the post-its better cause I like to stick it onto something. And I don't want to just put it in the binder. I'll forget about it. But if you're interested in the laminated copies, I will be listing these as well. So you can get yourself a laminated IOU. And if you're interested in the teller slips being laminated, let me know and I can sell those as well. Okay. Back to the cash breakdown. All right. Let's see what we got. We need two 100s, 350s, 1120s, 310s four fives, and that should be $620. This little one teller slip, I would take with me to the bank and hand this to the teller. When he sends me my change back, I'll have the exact denominations of what I need in order to do my cash stuffing already ready to go. So at this point, I'm gonna head to the bank, get the cash out, and then we will return and do a cash stuffing. I need to put some money in Big Bertha. You guys, I've been spending, I have so much coins, so much dollars and fives, it's been ripping me off. We're not gonna, we'll talk about it in a minute. Okay, we're not gonna talk about it right now. Let me take a breath, go over here to the bank and come back and I'll meet you guys here in just a minute. All right, you guys, some time has passed. What I wanna do is first count up the cash, get the cash tray out, and then we'll get started with the cash stuff in Phineas and Fiona to get them off of the table. So I should have $620 here. I put a 50 kind of in the middle because y'all know, I don't want to be counting no odd weird numbers. 1, 2, 253, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 550, 70, 80, 96, 65, 10, 15, 20. $620 is what I have. I'm gonna set this up and then we're going to start with the coins first. Give me just a second to set everything up. All right, first on the scene is Phineas and Fiona. And in order to do this, what I have to do is dump out all these coins, you guys. Oh my gosh. I feel like I have been on a spending spree, seriously. And I did say, I think I might do like a vlog style video showing you guys what I'm spending in a week or so. But um, hold on, let me see. And maybe how I'm actually spending the money in my um, sinking funds. I mean, my cash envelopes once we stuff them. Because the money goes so fast. Wait, hold on. Okay, this thing. When you're taking out the fives and the ones, look how many fives. That could have been like a coffee. Yeah. Oh, okay. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to take all that out of there. And we'll get to the cash envelopes in a minute, but first let's handle Phineas and Fiona and then Big Bertha. If you guys don't know, this is Phineas and Fiona. Little Phineas um, holds all my pennies and Fiona holds all my silvers. Uh, I used to sell little Fiona, the bigger one, in my Etsy store. However, they're out of stock right now. So yeah, I'm thinking about restocking them, but uh, I haven't done so yet. So there's that. If you're interested in one though, just be on the lookout because it might be coming soon. Okay. All right. So that's little Phineas. He has done his job. Let's talk to Fiona. Come on over here, ma'am. Come on. Let's get this together. Oh my gosh. I've seen in so many of you guys' little videos, Fiona sitting up on the table. Sometimes I scroll past to people that I'm subscribed to and I see Fiona on the table and I'm like, wait, is that my video? <laughs> 
And then I'm like, oh no, that's Fiona's cousin out there in these streets. So cute. Oh my gosh, just makes my heart smile. Um, yeah, so anyway, there goes Phineas and Fiona and they're gonna say goodbye and in comes Big Bertha. Here's Big Bertha. If you guys don't know, I put all my ones and fives in this jar and we're gonna count up at the end of the quarter. And your girl has been beating me with a stick. I'm like, this is too much. I low-key be trying to keep the fives back, and then I feel guilty, and I'm like, you know what? You said you was going to save your ones and fives. Now, you said it. Nobody told you to say it. You said it. Now, put the ones and fives in there. And that's that on that. This is how much we have so far. And we only made it halfway through February, and I didn't even start this in the beginning of January. There's a couple of tens in there. <sighs> I wonder how much we're gonna get in a quarter. What do you think? Don't guess yet. Wait till we count her up. Let me get the magnets off the table. Y'all know what to do in order to win a magnet, right? I already told you. Okay, so there's that. Let's go ahead and work on some cash and velo. Um, yeah, I have been spending. I'm not gonna lie. I have been spending more than I want to even admit to spending. It's getting a little out of hand, which is why I was like, maybe I'll just use my cash envelopes and show you guys how I do it. And hopefully, you know, I'll be a little more mindful while somebody's watching, but uh, <laughs> I doubt it. 20 for Stunkin, that's what's going in there. Groceries is gonna get 100 and I said $100 bill. We already have quite a bit of groceries. So most times when I'm getting groceries, I'm impulsive buying or like buying the peanut butter that goes with the jelly or yeah, or like, Maybe I have stuff to make something and I still want to like buy something extra. Look at me telling on myself before I actually make the vlog. Yeah, maybe <laughs> I might have groceries at my house, but I'm like, oh, I really feel like having a pot roast tonight and I'll go get the pot roast with the $100. You see what I'm saying? Like that kind of stuff is what I be doing. Okay, dining out is supposed to get $50 and that's just a $50 bill. Dining out, not so much. I mean, we, we eat out, but I mean, it don't be crazy. $50 in a week is a lot to me. $20 for myself. And probably the reason why $50 is a lot for dining out is because I'm just going like balls to the walls on groceries. You know what I mean? Like I'm just doing what I want to do as far as groceries. I want a piece of cake. I'm like, oh, let's go to Publix and get a piece of cake. You know, don't need to be doing all that. Okay, gas 25. My last instinct is to go to fast food and get a sweet. I'm usually like, oh, let's, let's get some sugar cookies and bake them. Like, and just impulsively get stuff. Nails is zero. Date nights, no. Even though I think I need, well, we'll, we'll just have to pass it this time. Weekend fun is going to get 35. 20, 35. And this weekend, the reason why I said I think I need it, my girlfriend asked me to go out to dinner. How am I going to pull that off? 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. Maybe I'll do it with the weekend fun money. <laughs> And so Lisa, I have $20, but $20 ain't the type of dinner she's talking about. So there's that. Okay, so yeah, that's everything for the cash envelopes. And we're going to see what we can do with what we got. Okay. Next on the scene, let's do some sinking funds. Okay, I have been spending out of these sinking funds some as well. Like car maintenance brings to mind that I went and got an oil change the other day. So yeah, I had to take some out of there. I took some out of clothes because I got Jay some new clothes. Um, I took some out of pets because Gingy and Pepper be having snacks galore. On and on it goes, you know? But that's what they're here for, so I don't feel so bad. Jace, myself, and Janae are not getting anything this time. Household's getting nothing. And I think I took something out of here, which is why it's wonky. Nothing's going in car, travel, birthdays. What am I, what am I doing again? What am I doing? Oh, I'm doing HOA and glasses, okay. Okay, HOA, we're gonna put 30. I thought I at least could get some of the smaller savings challenge, I mean, uh, sinking funds out of the way. So when I do end up um, having my YouTube pay, we'll have some of the little ones already knocked out. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75. This should only have 60 so far because I'm putting 30 a month to get to 300 by the end of the year. But um, I had an extra 15 from last year. So that's why I have 75 in there. Glasses, I actually took Janae to get glasses today. Okay, and she ended up getting glasses and contact lenses and my insurance covered some of it, but there was still a fee and I paid about $180. And so that money I had to get out of my buffer in order to take care of her glasses because you see what's in here. Okay, $15. So we're just gonna work on next year's and let it go. 
because her and Jay's both at the same time started talking about that they think they need a higher prescription. Janae did need a slightly higher prescription, but she also wanted to go to contact lenses. And I was like, girl, get both. Because you've never had contact lenses before. We don't even know how you're going to do with it. So let's just get both while we have the insurance to do it. So that worked out. So there's 20, 30, 40, 45 for glasses. And that'll go towards next year. And I might need to increase it. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I did ask the, the doctor about Janae and LASIK, but she's only 18, LASIK surgery. And he said you have to be 21 in the States in order to get it, number one. And number two, she has to have a stable prescription for two years. And her prescription has gone up every year just by slight amounts, but it's still not per, like consistent. So that probably won't be a dream of hers to be achieved at this point. Okay, giving <laughs> is going to get $70. I said a 50 what I say? A 50? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a 20. So I have 1, 50, 70, 90, 210 in giving. And that's cool. And that was 10% of my Etsy income is what I did um, for giving. Okay. All right. So there's that. That happens to be all of the sinking funds we're going to do today. We need to move on to do the college binder next. The College Binder. If you guys don't know, this is the binder that I had um, made. Well, let's see. Someone gifted me the binder, the labels I had made, and put it all together. I'll link a video up here if you wanna see how I did it. And what I'm gonna be doing is stuffing every single one of these envelopes that go between 100 and 465 is the highest one. So between 100 and 500, and they equal $5,000. So this is my third time stuffing this binder. Okay, it's gonna forever be in rotation till my daughter gets out of college because this pays for my daughter's college housing. Luckily, I don't have to have this binder filled until August because she's not gonna be going in summer. So um, not until August do I need to have it refilled and that's why I'm not like pushing it so hard like I was before, but still $5,000 $5,000, right? All right, so we gotta put 150 in. There's no 150, but there is a 145. So let me see. 130, let's just put 145. 120, 40, 45. 120, 40, 45 is gonna go in this one. I skipped over 130, so I gotta get on that. And then we gotta start getting to these big boys. But that is the college binder, love it. All right, so we were supposed to have, what, $90 left, 50? How do I have 95, what'd I do? What did I do? Which way did I go? I'm not even gonna worry about it. We got $95 to figure, oh, duh. Oh my gosh, her brain is gone, okay? I just put 145 instead of putting 150. There's an extra five right there. What is she talking, what is she talking about, folks? What is she talking about? Hurry up and find somewhere for this $95 for Salisa to lose her mind. Okay, let's see. Doink, doink. Let's start over here. Whoa. Let's start over here. In the quarterly challenge, this binder comes with four quarterly challenges. And I said in my last video that I wanted to get these done, but that's 21. Hold on. Let me see what I had in that, in that little quarterly challenge. I have no ones. I knew it. Yeah, no. Okay, so with that being said, we're not gonna be able to do that because we need an even amount so we can put the right amount of bills in here. So let's see, this and this is 15, this and this is 15, and that is 30. Oh, yeah, 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 I got two fives over there. Let's do that! Oh, that problem real quick. Aren't you proud? Aren't you so proud of me? And just like that, hold on. Hold up. Let me put these boys back in there. Okay. And just like that, she has done 15 and 15, which is 30. And in this little folder, I believe. 
I believe there was two tens, so that means we could take those out. I mean, two tens, two fives, and we could put this 40 in. So we're 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40. 140 out of 200. We only have 60 left of our quarterly challenge. We're not touching that for the rest of February. We're going to do all the rest of that in March. Let's just leave it alone. Let's just leave it alone. Let it sit. All right. What are we doing next with my 50, 50, 65 dollars? Okay, let's hit the February savings quite hard. Mr. Calculator, come on over here. I need your help because there's some big ones out here. Let me see. 65 minus 14 minus 18. 33. Huh. Okay. I think I got it. Wait, what I say? Wait. Oh, Lord. Okay, 14 plus 18 plus 11 plus 2. Oh, that definitely wasn't it. Wait, hold on. 14 plus 18 plus 2. What? Wait. Wait, one more time. I promise y'all, I'm going to get done with this. 14 <laughs> plus 18 plus 3. There we go. $35 is what I'm going to put in here. 14 plus 18 plus 3. Okay, there we go. Mm. This one's supposed to add up to $300 for the month of February. So I got to do some more on this one when we get that YouTube check. But for right now, we're supposed to put $35, which means I need to take 15 out of here and put 50 in. And that's what we're about to do. And now we have 51, 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 71. Wait, one, 171. No, 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 no. Okay, so that's going to be that on that. We're not doing anything in the month ahead because we need a 100 at a time, but we will get this done this month. Flower scratch off. Let's do the pig. At this point, we didn't hit all the big boys. It's between 25 and 70. Nah, uh-uh. No, remember? That one last time got me. Ain't nobody got time for that. Let's go to the big boy scratch off. The money goes in the pig envelope, but this no number is over 30. And I have 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. I mean, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I have 30. Okay, so breathe, Salisa. 30. I'm feeling like this one. What y'all think about right here? Okay, let's do it. Okay, you feel me? Like, come through. Now, dare I try to go for a 10? Dun, dun, dun. Let's put 20 in here. Last time this thing had us doing all kind of tricks and flips and stuff. I ain't got time. $20, 10, 15, 20. Because I'll have an IOU in a heartbeat. And we don't have time for that right now. There's 20, 40, 60, 81, 110, 15, 20, 25, 130, 130 between, I'm going to put this pig scratch off and this big scratch off card all in this envelope. These scratch off cards and these large scratch off cards are available down in my Etsy storefront if you're interested. I have 10 more dollars. Let's go ahead and put it into the February challenge. 10 more dollars. Now I got to find two numbers that add up to 10. Two numbers for 10. Oh, I see some. Let's see. We got three, five, that's eight. And a two, nine, ten. And just like that, we are $10 closer to becoming done with this challenge. Y'all thought I was going to say the next um, mob, next America's next top model, huh? The 51, 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. That's halfway, 81. 181, we are more than halfway there. And we do have some big numbers on the board. But trust me, we're going to get done with this challenge. Yeah, we're going to get done with this challenge. There's a couple of double digits left is what's killing us. But that's that on that. All right, so all the things have been done. We worked on our quarterly challenge for the last time in the month of February. I'm not going to touch this anymore until March. We worked on our February challenge that we need to get done by the end of February. We have about a little over halfway to go. We put some in the college binder. We didn't do any of the boxes, but a battle of the boxes is soon to return. And yeah, the cash tray is empty. I have told you guys about the new Etsy products. You know exactly what to do in order to be entered in the giveaway. By the time you see this video, I'm hoping to have all of the um, 
magnetic bookmarks listed in Etsy. It'll be one listing. You use a drop down in order to pick which variation you would like. Once they're gone, they're gone and I'll restock later, but I've already pre-planned what I could do for right now and made them and they're all ready to ship, okay? Um, I also, don't forget, have more IOU post-its posted, but I also have some laminated copies that I'll be taking pictures of and putting those up as well. And yeah, that's it, y'all. We have done another successful budget and cash stuff for the month of February. Another one is soon to come though, because we got some income rolling in. We're headed towards the end of the month, which is my favorite time, okay? My favorite time of the month. So um, yeah, don't forget, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I put out a video. Don't forget to return to the next video to see if you were one of the winners of one of those magnets, because I'm not gonna be notifying you guys. I need you to reach out to me, okay? Also, um, like this video because it helps it to be suggested to other people who might you know need this information on how to budget or want to get them a magnetic bookmark who knows why and also share this video with someone if you think they will enjoy the giveaway will close at the posting of the very next video that i post so regardless of what type of video that is the very next video i post will be the closing of the giveaway so make sure you get your hashtags down in the comment section before i post the next video and i think that's everything for today i appreciate you guys for being here with me i hope you had a cup of coffee to sip on during this long one but I will talk to you guys really soon. Take care.